Hey everybody, and thank you for joining us on this uh, edition of God Speaks. Um, we're we're doing things a little different right now um, than the original plan. Um, from what we were, you know, advertising what the podcast was going to look like, you know, we were going to, you know, taste some sodas and you know, have a little fun at the beginning before we jump into the, to the meat of the, the podcast. But, um, you know, we're in the midst of this pandemic, this, uh, crisis that we're going through. And, um, because of the, you know, the guidelines that were given to us, um, you know, we can't meet together to, to do the podcast like originally planned. So this is kind of like, a the quarantine edition of God Speaks, where we're, you know, we're having to improvise a little bit and, um, you know, s- starting the, the podcast off completely differently from the original vision. And, and you know, that's fine. And it's kind of, um, it kind of goes along with the, the whole idea of what this podcast is, is that, you know, it's, it's about you know, getting getting a scripture that we have no idea what we're what we're getting ourselves into and letting God speak things on the fly that, you know, we hadn't um, planned for. Um, so that, that's kind of, <laughs> you know, in a way it's ironic. It's it's kind of a God thing. I think that the first episode that we're going to be officially releasing is is on the fly and um not no plans and it's not um what we thought it was going to be and um i think it's pretty cool that it's working out that way um but um we we still want to we want to still pump out some content um in this time where you know people need some hope and some distraction from what's going on in the world right now. So we're hoping that this is a, a, a good way for people to, to be able to do that and um, to let God speak through the pod, the podcast and let God speak through his word and through us. Um, and, and one of the things that we talked about doing um, until we can get back to our original plan is, um, you know, we're thinking of ways that we could, reach out to to the communities and to um the people that are in need right now um and one of the things that i was thinking about is you know there's a lot of small businesses right now that are are struggling because they've had to close their doors and um you know a lot of those small businesses are maybe thinking about putting some of their product online for people to buy um through different, you know, websites or personal websites or maybe even Amazon or um, however. Um, And so we were thinking, you know, if if anybody that sees this has a small business um, and they would like to um, come on the show and just kind of uh, plug their product, you know, tell us what your business is, tell, tell us what you're selling and um, tell us how um, we can get to your website or how we can uh, support your business in this uh, crazy time. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be a, a one way that the we as God Speaks podcast can help give back to, to the community, um, not just our local community, but um, everywhere around the world that, you know, is going to be able to, to see this this podcast you know it's going on youtube where we have the potential for millions of people to see this from all over the world so um if you have a business you have a product that you're you know trying to you know sell in this crazy time um reach out to to us um leave a comment on the youtube video find us on instagram find us on facebook send us a message um we're doing this by Skype, so I mean it's uh it's easy to connect. Um, 
and we can bring you on and you can tell us um, whatever you want to tell us. And hopefully that can be one way that we can give back. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just add to that, that if you're not a podcast person or um, you, maybe you're just shy and you're just not, not into this kind of thing, but we, we still want to serve you and your business as well, too. So feel free to let us know. Um, how we can help or how we can advertise on the Godspeak social media platforms and um, and we can you know speak on on your behalf if you'd like us to if you if you you know if you're not interested in coming on the podcast to uh, to talk we can certainly do that for you if you're interested yep definitely and, and hopefully the podcast itself is you know Brandon mentioned that we're at a time where people are looking for hope and they're looking for answers um, not only that, but if, if you happen to be a believer, a Christian, and you're listening to this, you're probably also used to having some sort of fellowship go on, whether that's just your Sunday or Saturday service, or whether it's Bible studies or small groups or anything like that that aren't happening right now. And I'm not sure you know, what your group is doing at this point in time, but hopefully this is just one more way for you to get some sort of fellowship in, some sort of extra curricular study going and you know brandon and i have may not have ever met you before you might not know anything about us small town folk but uh we'd like to interact with you on the pages and see what you think about our study and have conversations uh based on that and and hopefully we can be um part of that cure to loneliness part of that cure to that that need for fellowship at this time as well so yep Okay, so with all that being said, we'll jump into um, our scripture part of the podcast. And again, um, uh, if this is the first time you're seeing this, there is one episode that we did release as like a, a sneak pre- peek. Um, so if you've seen that, then, then you'll know kind of what we do. But if, if this is the first time you're seeing us, what we do is... Um, we pull up this website. It's called BibleDice.com. I don't know if you can see Just that there. Barely. There you go. Um, BibleDice.com. It gives you um, a, just a randomly generated scripture. Um, sometimes it's one verse. Sometimes it's a few verses. Um, and what I like to do is I like to generate a new uh, passage every time we use it. Just so, I don't know, I feel like it's the fair way to do it so nobody thinks we're just cheating so i'm gonna go ahead and push the new scripture button here and i'll uh, i'll have this displayed on the screen also okay so it's one verse it's first corinthians 15 33 this is the new living translation it says do not be fooled by those who say sh- such things, for bad company corrupts good character. And I will also read it here. This is called the Passion Translation, just for a little different view here. It says, so stop fooling yourselves. Evil companions will corrupt good morals and character. Um, so let's uh, let's just pray quick, and then we can... Allow God to speak to us here. Lord, um, thank you for your word. And that any time we read it, it doesn't return void. Um, We pray that you would speak to us and tell us what you want us to hear in this passage. I pray that you would speak to anyone who's listening to this or watching this. That you would also speak something to them. Um and bless this conversation and and pray that the words that are spoken are only the words that you want spoken amen we can um uh, look uh, up at you know the the previous passages here if we want some some context um i'm just pulling back up this translation I'll, I'll just go up to the beginning of the paragraph here, uh, verse 30. It says, And why should we ourselves risk our lives hour by hour? 
for I swear, dear brothers and sisters, that I face death daily. This is a certain this is as certain as my pride in what Christ Jesus our Lord has done in you. And what value was there in fighting wild beasts, those of people those people of Ephesus, if there will be no resurrection from the dead, and if there is no resurrection, let us feast and drink, for tomorrow we die. Don't be fooled by those who say such things, for bad company corrupts good character. Think carefully about what is right and stop sinning. For to your shame, I say that some of you don't know God at all. I think that... Um, especially in the crazy, crazy time that we're living in, it's really easy for us to get sucked into the negativity of everything that's going on around us. As as Christians, we uh, we know what we should be thinking. We know what we should be believing. Um, we, you know, as a Christian for t- the past twenty five years, I've. I know that um, I'm not supposed to have the spirit of fear and that um, I'm supposed to uh, take every thought captive. And um, I know all the right Bible-y things to say, and I know all the Christianese things and all the spiritual things that I'm supposed to say and all the spiritual things I'm supposed to do and all the spiritual things I have to think. But the reality of of life is that we're constantly surrounded by the complete opposite of all of that. And it's constantly in our face and it's constantly screaming at us. And um, I think it's, it's important for us to silence those voices as hard as it is and as difficult as it is. And as like obvious, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn a blind eye to what's going on outside my front door and pretend like nothing's happening. But, um, like we know, we know what's happened. We, we know the end result of all of this. We know what's, what's coming in the end. Um, we just don't know how it's going to happen, I guess. And, um, I just, uh, it's really important for us as Christians to not be corrupted by all the the negative things we see um, on social media, on the news. Um, it, it's just, I don't even know, I don't even know how else to say it. It's just, in this time, it's so important to focus on everything that is good and everything that is right and beautiful um, that we have to think on those things. The verse says, bad company corrupts good character. Like, I I, I would, um, like, I I know Brad, um, as a person and I know that he has good character and I would hope that he would think the same of me, um, that we have good character. Um, but it's really important for us to watch the company that we, that we keep. Um, and again, like I said, especially in this time when it's so easy to be caught up in all the negativity that's going on around us. Um, Because that negativity, according to this verse, corrupts good character. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, especially, you know, while while we're talking about this, what what this verse means here is the company that we keep. I think that it's more, it's even more, I mean, it's always important, obviously, for us to have fellowship. and And I'm talking to anybody who might be a believer now, specifically, but... Um, you know, in a time like now where we're not able to have the same type of fellowship that we're used to having, um, 
this is, I think, more uh, really important for us to to focus on the company we keep. And a lot of people won't like this, or or maybe they um, maybe they won't even think about this. But I, I think company goes beyond also um, just the, the physical people around us too. But um, in this day and age, and in this kind of circumstance, like what kind of social media are you on? What kind of article? What, uh, what kind of Facebook posts are you reading? What kind of news articles are you reading? Um, what are the people, you know, what kind of attitudes, I guess, are the, are the people having that you're following on Facebook and and constantly putting in front of your face and, and therefore in your mind and in your heart? Um, there's a lot of negativity going on right now. There's a lot of um, hopelessness going on out there, a lot of fear-driven um, tactics happening, and, and that's a tactic of the enemy, right? He, he wants us, even the believers, um, to lose sight of the hope that we have, to lose sight of the fact that we have a God that is that knows what's going on. Like, God, th- this COVID-19 doesn't scare God. <laughs> it doesn't throw him off track. He's, he's not all of a sudden losing control of the world. Um, he's still God. He still calms storms. He's still promises us a resurrection from the dead he is still powerful um this is kind of cheating in the way that we typically want to do this but while we're breaking all kinds of criteria here um (laughs) just to really kind of point to to what's happening in this passage if if we were to go back to to chapter 15 verse 12 paul says now if christ is preached so so corinthians the, the first letter of corinthians is Paul's heard from one of the church leaders like that there's some division going on in the church, there's some dissension going on in the church, they're fighting over doctrine, they're fighting over who's the better apostle, who's the better teacher, all this kind of good stuff. Um, And there's just different beliefs that are kind of infiltrating the church. And Paul here, and specifically in in, uh, chapter 15 and verse 12, you you know, we see him starting to talk about a specific doctrine. And in verse 12, he says, now, if Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some of you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and and your faith is also empty. Right. So basically, if Christ hasn't risen from the dead, if that never happened, if that's a hoax, then we're a bunch of idiots. We're wasting our time right now on this podcast. I could be doing other things, um, namely watching The Office or eating ice cream or going to bed, um, just to name a few. Th- I mean, if, if Christ didn't rise from the dead, then everything we talk about, everything we preach about, everything we live our lives based on is false. And then he says in verse 32, his preface to our verse is, you know, if, well, if the dead don't rise, then let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die. Meaning, dude, dude if, if this is all we have, if this is all we have, there is no resurrection from the dead. There's no hope after this life. Then I want to go get as drunk as I can, as often as I can. I want to party. I want to hook up with people. I don't want to care about my family. I just want to go do whatever feeds my flesh, whatever feeds my mind um, on a worldly level. And and I just want to celebrate the fact that this is all I got. You know, I want to go see the world. I want to go spend money I don't have. Um, You know, we we can keep going. But he's painting this picture. But then he says, hey, but don't be deceived. Because Christ did rise from the dead. And therefore, our preaching is not empty and our faith is not empty. So stay away from the people who are lying to you about the hope. Stay away from the people that have these evil thoughts and these fearful thoughts and these anxious thoughts. Stay away from them because we don't want your good habits to go astray, right? We don't want your good habits to... um, to to go to waste, to die. And we we have to be careful here because we're the light of the world. So it's not like we want to backtrack 
and go the opposite direction and like stray away from people. You know, we want to be the light of the world in this point in time. But I think now I'm taking, I don't do this a lot, but necessarily, but I'm taking Paul's words and I'm putting them in 2020 talk here, putting them in what we're living through today. Um, I, I think that taking this verse into our, our daily context could look like, you know, not backing away from people, but look at what you're feeding yourself. Like I said, that those Facebook posts, those news articles, are you feeding yourself things that are going to make you scared and anxious and lose sight of who God is and what he's doing in the world? Um, because if that's what we're going to do, then our good habits are going to die. Um, they're going to be corrupted. Mm -hmm. We're going to become people that are just part of the fear instead of bringing hope and light into that dark place. Yep. And, uh, I just, I find it so awesome that this is the verse that we get just, Days from Easter, mm -hmm. you know, which was all about, you know, the resurrection. Right. Um. Nothing is by accident, so I think it's pretty cool that that this is where we end up on this episode. And you know, you pointing out the re the resurrection also makes me think about what the disciples were probably feeling like when Jesus went into that tomb you know they had this this idea of of what it was supposed to look like and what the outcome was supposed to be and now the the savior their savior is in a tomb dead and they're all they're all in this uh, situation where they don't know what to do. They thought they knew what was what was going on, even though Jesus told them exactly what was going to happen. Right. <laughs> they're all you know sitting around, acting surprised, not knowing what to do. And what do they do? They they go back to their old life. You know before. They were walking with Jesus. A lot of them were fishermen, right? So what did they do? They just go. They go back to what they were doing. They hop back in the boat and they're fishing again. When when Jesus finally resurrects, he calls them back from the shore and has and makes them uh, breakfast and uh, has to have a conversation with them. But I say all that to say, like, we're kind of. We have that choice to react like the like the disciples did when Jesus was put in that tomb. We can we can act scared. We can act confused. We can act defeated. Um, we can act like we have no idea. Uh, uh, you know, like, <laughs> or we can we can trust in what Jesus told us was going to happen. And just because things don't look the way we think they should look or the way that um, we were told by somebody else they should look is that we have that hope and we can trust in what we know is the end result in all of this um, and not let bad company corrupt our good character. Well, um, again, thank you for joining us on this episode. Um Reach out to us, comment on the video, find us on Instagram. Um, I think our Instagram is, um, you can search for God Speaks Podcast. Um, Instagram.com Instagram slash God Speaks Podcast, I think, is the um, the URL. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the Facebook one offhand. Yeah, I, believe it's, I believe it's God Speaks Podcast as well, yeah. Okay. Okay. 